Gretchen, is there any thing women can do? What's the answer? If you do speak up, they're, they're going to key on you even more. Well, I'd like to pick up on what Patricia said, that gathering evidence is just crucial if you find yourself in this type of a situation. Uh, because we still live in a he said, she said culture, unfortunately. And they're not going to believe you. So whether it's journaling or telling somebody else, uh, it's, it's crucial. Um, and also, with regard to making sure that you have real evidence, you should look into your own state laws to see what the tape recording laws are to figure out whether or not it's well, a felony, like in <laughs> California. Right. Let, me, let me ask Nancy, should a woman immediately pick up the phone and call HR and get it on the record hello, on hello? Only if you think it would be good to call the KGB to complain about Putin. <laughs> HR, HR is not your friend. HR will not help you. <laughs> The first call you make is to an attorney. You need to know whether you can tape record. <laughs> you need to know whether you can tape record in your state. Imagine that states have laws that you are not allowed to tape record a conversation in which you are a party. We're not talking about leaving a recording somewhere. We're talking about tape recording a man harassing you. In many states, you can go to jail for that. But you, so you need to find that out. Not in New York, not in New Jersey, for those who are local. Um, yes, in Connecticut. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, in Virginia. Connecticut. So uh, you, need, you need to find out what the laws are. Uh, unfortunately, also, the laws are different in every state. We have a, a national law, Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Women were added to that law where we were trying to have a civil rights movement for African Americans as a joke and it ended up passing. Um, so that law has just been developing, but its federal courts are making it very difficult. The, since Ronald Reagan started appointing federal judges, they have contracted the rights of women in federal courts. So many states have enacted their own laws. Unfortunately for Patricia, many southern states like Virginia, where she lives, have not. But New York City has a great law. Massachusetts, California, New Jersey. So the first thing you have to do is call a lawyer and find so out what your rights are. Is that the only way to put an end to sexual harassment is a lawsuit? And I'm not even sure if you file a lawsuit, it puts an end to it, as we saw it file. Well, one of the other big things that I want to make sure that everyone knows about is, is something that I've been fighting now with regard to advocacy since my whole case, which is forced arbitration clauses that are pervasive in employment contracts now. I bet if I did, if I asked you to raise your hands, do you know if you've signed an employment contract, if you have an arbitration clause in it? No. Okay. Right. Because this has become pervasive. Even when you sign up for cell phone service or, um, you know, movie, to watch a movie, you're signing away. We don't even think about it. We just click I agree and move on. And they're also in employment contracts. 